What's up everybody, it's King Kunta, and today we're going to have another gold farming video for you guys. And just before I start the video, I'd like to go ahead and thank you guys for the recent support and uh, the subscribers, basically. I've been actually taking off a little bit more in the past couple days, and I just wanted to say thank you to everyone, and uh, you guys are helping me make this thing hopefully become a job for me. And there's a garbage truck going outside, and I have to close the window. I am so sorry. Okay, that will not happen again. You might still hear it, but I am sorry. Okay. So today we're going to be looking at a gold farm uh, in a little bit of a colder place. Today we're going to we're actually going to go to the Ice Crown Citadel and we're going to show you uh, what you're going to farm, why you're going to farm it, for what reason you'd actually continue farming it, and all that good stuff. So today, right now, the first first things first, we're just going to look up what the pattern is. So, so we're going to look up Frost, Weave, and then Claw should just come up. Oh, the bag comes up. Okay. So you guys are thinking, this is kind of stupid, why would you want to farm Frost re Weave Cloth or King Kunta, I almost just said my real name, can you believe that? Oh my gosh, that was almost really bad. Okay, but, so as we see here, this is how much basically 200 of it is selling for, and uh, this stuff actually still sells really well because some of the coolest transmog pizzas in the game came out of the Wrath of the Lynch King, in my opinion, uh, all the cool uh, mage sets, stuff like that. So, as you can see, it's definitely still worth us farming it, and we're basically going to be heading to a farm that is pretty close to being an instant uh, respawn farm, just because they're so densely packed together and there's so many groups of them. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to go ahead and we're going to take the boat to the Ice Crown Citadel from Stormwind if you're in Orgrimmar, and on the scumbag side you have to go take your flying thing. But anyways, we next I'll see you, and we will be at the location of the farm, and I'm going to go ahead and tell you everything that you need to know about the farm from that on, and also what items, buffs, uh, fancy stuff you can use to help you uh, maximize the profitability out of the farm itself. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the video now, and I'll see you at the farm. Goodbye. Alright everybody, we are back after that cut, and we are at the location, and here is where I'm going to spill all the exciting, uh, helpful information to you. So, as you can see, we're on this little platform area here, and I'm actually going to show you on the map where we're located. So, it's in uh, Ice Crown, and basically you just want to come to this little area right here, it's like a little ledge and overhang. It's kind of hard to see at first, especially if like uh, you're... I don't know, you didn't fly here, I don't understand why that makes sense, but whatever. So you're just going to come right to this little area, and you're going to see this ledge, it's going to be like over these mountains and everything, and uh, besides that, but there's all these little groups of uh, little guys right here, and they're all level 80, so it shouldn't be too hard. And uh, this is uh, part of a questing area, so go ahead and leave the people that are actually questing alone, uh, preferably. And uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to kill all these guys right here. And uh, we're going to kill them for the Frost Weave Cloth. Everything else they drop is, uh, uh, to be honest, kind of useless. Um, you like it, There's really, I honestly don't think you could make any money doing any, like, picking up any of the extra stuff they have with them. Uh, you might, maybe, if you're lucky. But as you can see here, uh, that's how much Frost Weave we got for just these groups. And they do respawn back quite quickly. You're just going to want to try to kill every one of them. And you can even set a uh, timer from the chat menu. It's just do slash stopwatch. And uh, you can just uh, loot every uh, two minutes. And that can uh, speed this area up real fast. And as you see how easily I just cleared out the entire place. Um, and one thing I highly recommend. If you have a tailor. Um, go get on your tailor before you come to this location. Because if you do that you're going to be able to uh, double the amount of. Uh, frost weave that you're getting so you saw how much I got there um, you're gonna be able to double that with a tailor and as you can see I'll go ahead and open my bag real quick I got seven for just one clear and they all respawn back in a couple seconds too so like you can literally do this like hundreds of times an hour you can get you know almost a thousand frost weave cloth if you're not even on a tailor see I'm not even on a tailor right now if you were you could double it and honestly I I wouldn't be surprised if I saw someone making around 1500 frost weave uh, at this location next up uh, bear tartar is gonna help uh, speed up the entire process after you kill them all they are gonna spawn back in like little kind of groups like this you can either wait till they all respawn or just keep killing them like that it doesn't really matter 
But, uh, yeah, that's basically it. Bear Tartar is going to help you do that. Um, you can't skin them or anything, but you do want the perk from the tailor that uh, increases chance of receiving uh, skinning drop or uh, tailor drops from humanoids because these are humanoids, and that is a very useful uh, thing for tailors to use. You can pick this up and, like, uh, maybe, I don't know, <clears throat> vendor it if that's even worth it, really. I don't really know how much that would make sense. But uh, it definitely is a nice spot, and you can see how fast they're just coming back, you know, like that. I do highly recommend you guys do this. If you have a monk, you could probably just drop uh, the the totem in the middle and just have them aggro you all like that. And as you can see, they're actually dropping, like, uh, gold, too. So I'm kind of, I'm getting a decent amount already. But uh, our main, our main... Uh, goal is just the frost weave cloth and with the frost weave what you can do is you can craft a ton of different patterns and they don't require a whole lot of uh other materials obviously i'm not a tailor so i can't really bring up the interface for you but um you can craft a whole bunch of patterns and you actually do profit off of them so uh it's basically up to you what you do with uh, the frost weave that you get you can craft them into things and potentially make a little bit more gold and that really all depends on your server and i highly recommend you have tsm yeah we'll let that guy kill that because it's part of his quest but if you do that, then that's also another uh, opportunity you have to make gold. Obviously, check your server prices and what's most profitable for you. So I recommend you guys have Trade Skill Master. It's probably the most useful add-on uh, in the game. <laughs> I'd actually go that far to say it. But, yep, that's basically uh, it for the rundown in this farm. You can craft a ton of things that uh, will be worth a ton of gold. And I honestly, I recommend if you guys have like a day off work, a day you're free... I think you should just sit here and just farm this for a day straight. If you do that, you're going to be set with Ross Reeve. I mean, you saw how much they were going for on my server. And uh, <clears throat> 15 to 1700 Frost Weave an hour is, like, doable here because of the respawn times. So I highly recommend that you guys go and check this farm out while you can because after I post this video, a lot more people are going to start flocking here. So if you're one of the first people to watch this, I recommend you go now before... Uh, everyone else starts kind of taking over and doing their own thing with it but as you can see you just run around here kill people you don't necessarily have to be a tailor here but it does double the amount of frost we're going to get so it's kind of like why wouldn't you so if you have a tailor go ahead and do that uh, make the most sense if not um it's hard to like be able to tell you if you should or shouldn't farm this if you don't have a tailor yes you will make money but like the amount you make like you probably would be better off spending the money to level up your tailor and then come to this location and just farm this all day um <clears throat> like i said i made a decent amount of gold within an hour uh, about like i want to say 140,000. but honestly you guys are probably going to be way better off if you do have a tailor because that's literally just going to double what i made um but that's just gold value. That's not worth uh, everything I sold. I still have it listed on the auction house currently. But, yeah, that's uh, basically the two cents on this uh, spot. Everything you need to know, I basically just gave to you. you can, there's a couple things you might like be able to disenchant. But, I mean, other than that, uh, make sure you have a tailor. Bear Tartar useful. Obviously, I don't have it activated because I didn't want to just waste it for the sake of this video. And, uh, yeah, I think other than that, we should be good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and call this the end of the video. If you guys like the video, you can go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, that would really help me out because I actually plan to attempt to make YouTube my full-time job, uh, hopefully. And as many as you know, I'm a college student, so life gets pretty hard sometimes. But we will make it through it, and we will make YouTube our career because, gosh darn it, this is what I want to do, and I enjoy doing it. So... For everyone that just was here for the content, you can go ahead and leave now. Anyone else that wants to stay after, I always leave kind of like a little like special thing at the end of the video for everyone to laugh at or maybe not laugh at. What? Oh, man, I'm sorry. I'm tired. I'm recording this at like 2 a.m. But if you liked, like, comment, subscribe. I hope everyone has a good time, and I hope you love me. Now, for everyone that has stayed here till the end, first things first, this is a little tip. If you stay here... I recommend you craft the frost weave into some of the boots and hand uh, patterns that you get because on most auction houses they are actually going to sell for more money than the frost weave itself. So you like you might have to buy some other mats off the auction house, but it is so much more worth it to do that. I just want to drop that little secret because if you're an OG, stay to the end and everyone knows that.
So, and I think that's actually all the tips I have for you, other than just like look up what you can make with it and what's valuable on your auction house. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Like, comment, subscribe. I guess you guys got to hear it twice. And I'm going to see everybody in the next one. I love every single one of you, my subscribers. You're my babies. Goodbye.